need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Alex SpaceX Talks. Today we have a special episode with the title Is Time Travel Possible? In this episode we will talk about the theoretical and fictional aspects of time travel. And because I'm a big fan of science fiction movies, we will have a look at some well-known blockbusters in the realm of time travel and science fiction. So, if you want to find out if we can go back in time or even travel to the future, then buckle up and enjoy this episode. If I could only turn back time, yeah, to be honest, I have often thought about that. But who hasn't? For example, if I had known that Bitcoin and all major cryptocurrencies would crash in May 2021 after Elon's notorious Tesla tweet, then I would have for sure traded differently. If I could go back in time, then I would exactly know when to place my trades. But that wouldn't morally be correct and should be punished. Therefore, Jean-Claude Van Damme as Time Cop had the task to arrest people back in time for crimes they are going to commit in the future. Doing partner? Ex-partner. Let me go, Max. I'm not hurting anybody. I got to take you back. In the year 2004, time travel is a reality. You are charged with violations of TEC code 40.8 time travel with intent to alter the future. And a crime. As of now, time travel has not been scientifically proven to be possible and remains a topic of speculation and debate among physicists. Theoretical models in physics such as Einstein's theory of general relativity, suggest that it might be possible in some circumstances, but there is no experimental evidence to support these ideas. Until there is more evidence and a better understanding of the nature of time, the possibility of time travel remains in the realm of science fiction. Okay, that's too bad then. But what about traveling in time to the future? Would that work? As far as current scientific understanding goes, time travel to the future is possible and has been demonstrated through the phenomenon of time dilation, which is a consequence of Einstein's theory of special relativity. Time dilation occurs because of the relative velocity between two observers or due to a difference in gravitational potential between two points. This means that time passes at a different rate for objects in strong gravitational fields or for objects moving at high speeds relative to each other, effectively resulting in time travel to the future. Okay, that is interesting, but also a bit complicated to fully understand. Let's talk about the term time dilation again in more detail. Time dilation is a phenomenon described by Einstein's theory of special relativity, which states that the passage of time can appear to be different for two observers depending on their relative velocity, and proximity to a strong gravitational field. In other words, time can appear to move slower for an observer in a strong gravitational field or for an observer who is moving at high speeds relative to a stationary observer. This effect has been experimentally verified and is a fundamental aspect of modern physics. What this means is that if you spend your whole life either living in a flying airplane or at sea level, then you would age more slowly compared to your relatives living either on top of Mount Everest or not flying in an airplane the whole time. Time dilation is best portrayed in the movie Interstellar, where the main character, Joseph Cooper, decided to land on a planet called the Water World. On this planet, every hour will be seven years to the outside world due to time dilation. The Waterworld planet is orbiting Gargantua, the massive glowing black hole that exists in the foreign galaxy. Due to Gargantua's massive gravitational pull, every hour on that planet is seven years on Earth. Interstellar is a science fiction movie that explores the idea of time dilation and wormholes, and it is not entirely realistic from a scientific standpoint. While the movie is loosely based on scientific principles and the concepts of time dilation and wormholes are real, much of the science in the movie is fictionalized and highly speculative. The movie takes significant artistic liberties with the science and makes several assumptions and interpretations that are not supported by current scientific knowledge. That being said, the movie is still a highly entertaining and thought-provoking work of fiction 
that raises important questions about the nature of time, space and our place in the universe. It's worth noting that many of the concepts in the movie are still being explored by scientists and remain the subject of ongoing research and discussion. Let's make a quick deep dive into wormholes. A wormhole is a hypothetical structure in space-time that is predicted by some solutions of Einstein's theory of general relativity. It is a tunnel-like structure that connects two separate points in space-time providing a shortcut for traveling from one point to the other. The idea of wormholes has been popularized in science fiction as a means for time travel or faster than light travel, but as of now, there is no experimental evidence for their existence. Theoretically, if wormholes exist, they would likely be incredibly small and unstable. And it is not clear if they could be used for practical purposes like time travel or space travel. Layman's terms. Well, fuck layman's terms. Do you speak English? Um, imagine for a minute that this piece of paper... No, excuse me. Uh, that's Vanessa and that's mine. Uh, an attractive piece of paper represents space-time. And you want to get from point A here oh. to point B there. Now, what's the shortest distance between two points? A straight line. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, the shortest distance between two points is zero, and that's what the gateway does. It folds space so that point A and point B coexist in the same space and time. When the spacecraft passes through the gateway, space returns to normal. Einstein's theory of general relativity suggests that time is relative and can be affected by the presence of mass and energy. He described time as a river that can flow at different rates in different parts of the universe depending on the strength of gravitational fields. This means that time passes more slowly in strong gravitational fields and moves faster in weak ones. This idea has been confirmed by numerous experiments and is now widely accepted as a fundamental principle of physics. A term that is always used when we talk about time travel is the grandfather paradox. The grandfather paradox is a classic thought experiment in the field of time travel that raises the question of what would happen if a person was to travel back in time and kill his own grandfather before his own father was born. If this were to happen, it creates a paradox because the person would not exist in the future to travel back in time and kill his grandfather. But if his grandfather was killed, then the person would not exist in the first place. This paradox raises questions about the nature of causality and the possibility of altering the past and has been the subject of much philosophical and scientific speculation. Some theories, such as the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, propose that the paradox is resolved by the existence of multiple parallel universes. However, this is still a topic of ongoing debate and has not been conclusively resolved. I will talk about parallel universes in more detail in one of my upcoming videos. But would we somehow and sometime be able to travel to distant worlds? Yes and no, because the amount of energy needed to propel a spaceship to near the speed of light would be enormous. The energy required to reach such high speeds would be proportional to the mass of the spaceship and would increase as the speed of the spaceship approaches the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory of special relativity, as an object approaches the speed of light, its mass increases dramatically, requiring even more energy to continue accelerating. This means that reaching the speed of light is not possible for anything with mass as the energy required would be infinite. In reality, it is unlikely that we will ever be able to develop a spacecraft capable of reaching the speed of light, as the energy requirements would be far beyond our current capabilities. Even if it were possible, such a journey would also pose significant technological and practical challenges, including the effects of time dilation and radiation exposure. So, to conclude this episode, according to current scientific understanding, it is not possible to physically travel back in time and change the past in any universe, including our own. The idea of time travel remains purely theoretical 
and has not been proven by any experiments or observations. While some interpretations of quantum mechanics, such as the many worlds interpretation, suggest the possibility of parallel universes in which different outcomes can occur, it is not clear how one could travel between these universes or alter the past in a meaningful way. It's also worth noting that many scientists and philosophers believe that the very idea of changing the past is inherently paradoxical and goes against the fundamental laws of causality and determinism. The concept of time travel and the possibility of altering the past remains a topic of ongoing debate and research, but at this point it remains purely speculative and has not been supported by any empirical evidence. Well, that was all for today, folks. I hope that you have all enjoyed this episode and I'm already looking forward to seeing you soon in my next video. In the meantime, I wish you a wonderful week. Ciao. Hasta la vista, baby.